Manchester United have beaten Barnsley 7 0 in the third round of the FA, uh, not FA Cup, Carabao Cup. Um, yes, big result for Manchester United. Seven goals, of course. Uh, delighted. I mean, you know, people can be like, eh, it's only Barnsley. But at the end of the day, you celebrate your wins uh, no matter what. And that's what we're doing. Um, Look, scoring seven goals against any team is a is a big thing, to be fair. It is. Uh, seven nils a massive result. And it's a game where our players can start to gain even more confidence. Christian Eriksen was bloody unbelievable in that midfield today. Dictated the pace of the game so well. He was very bloody good on the ball. And, you know, getting two goals for himself as well late on. Fantastic stuff, of course. We were very good at capitalising on Barnsley's uh, mistakes. We did not let them breathe whatsoever. We were always bloody on them. And that's what things have to be like at Manchester United from now on. Uh, Rashford was very good today. Looked so much more confident after his goal against Southampton. I feel like against Crystal Palace, it will really start to show if we are seeing uh, a Marcus Rashford comeback. I hope we are. I would love... Marcus Rashford to start playing really, really bloody well again, of course. Um, but and you know, it look, it looks like we've got we're seeing signs of it, which is good. I thought Bruno was pretty good today. You know, he he was playing some good balls through, good on the ball, looked fairly comfortable, which was good to see from Bruno. I thought it's a good, uh, decent debut from Manuel Agate today. Good in the midfield, good on the ball. Uh, I thought him and Ericsson were a pretty good partnership overall. Casemiro was all right as well. Um, yeah, uh, Bayern Deer didn't really have much to do, but of course, it was good to see Bayern Deer get a bit of game time, of course, getting a full 90 minutes, in it, um, in it, um, of course, which is good. Um, Fort Maguire was the, I, I, I thought everyone was good today, to be fair. Everyone played their part in the 7 0 win. Ganacho was bloody fantastic on the wing, of course. You've got to mention him. Very creative in every single game. He's one of our most important players at this moment in time. As we know, Ganacho, he's so bloody important up front. And yeah, he continued to bloody show it once again today. Um, yeah, look. No one really put a foot wrong today, which is really good to see. Clean sheet, seven goals. What more can you ask for overall? Um, again, Anthony getting a goal. Uh, uh, I can't play, get my words out today. Anthony getting a goal from a penalty, of course, which is good. Won the penalty as well. So, of course, had all the rights to take it and slotted it home, which was good to see from Anthony. Anthony was pretty good on the ball today as well, creating a decent amount, making some good runs through as well, which was good to see from Anthony. Um, yeah, overall, not yeah, I, 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 not one player really disappointed. Dallo was pretty good on the ball today, looked comfortable. Um, which was good to see winning get some good balls back, which was good to see on the right hand side. Johnny Evans was decent today as well. Uh, Collier had a good game, yeah. Like overall, um, you know, credit to every single one of our players today. We fully fought for it and we just kept on bloody going. We had that hunger to score goals, and that's the most important thing because, as well, though. At times, like, you know, for the last few seasons or so, when we play smaller teams, we struggle to really get momentum going and, you know, be scoring a lot of goals. But today, that's what we got. We got our momentum and we got a lot of goals today and we were consistently pressuring Barnsley and giving them things to worry about all the time. And that's what a bloody top Premier League side like Manchester United should be doing to a League One side like Barnsley. That's exactly how it should be. And that, that's what had to happen today. And we were entertained at the end of the at the end of the day as well. Um, you know, we were entertained um in the Southampton game. We were entertained today. And yeah, this Manchester United team are, you know, giving us some good entertainment at the moment. Hopefully we see the same thing on Saturday against Palace. I really bloody hope so. Because that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna really show where we are 100 blade percent at. And, you know, I believe as of now, it's looking like we're at a decent level, but hopefully we're not speaking all too soon. And hopefully we do get a good big result against Crystal Palace. I'm saying we can beat them like 3-1, something like that. I think it's, um, I think, you know, we're getting more confidence in our players, which is very bloody important to see. Um, it is.
it's very important to see, uh, you know, more confidence coming into our players, of course. And, so, you know, people like Ericsson, that is someone who we need to see playing well and someone that we need to get confidence from because, you know, it's just that extra addition in that midfield, isn't it? Obviously, you know, the main two would be Agate and uh, Menu, but, you know, Casemiro's fully bloody past it, basically. Ericsson's, you know, not old at all. Ericsson's still got it in him, I feel like. And, you know, we saw... A big bloody game for him today and that's a game where he can get his confidence back and up and running and in my opinion was definitely man of the match I thought you know it was all him in that midfield today it was all Christian Eriksen in that midfield fantastic on the ball dictating the play great balls through getting two goals as well it was just, he was such an important player in today's win Christian Eriksen he he was very bloody important in that win 100 blade percent um Thought Zerks, he was decent when he came on, did a few decent things as well, got himself into some decent positions at times, which was good to see from Zerks, make some good runs in. Um, Maza Rui, of course, doing his usual stuff on the right-hand side, class stuff from Maza, uh, from Maza Rui once again, uh, which is good to see. Um, yeah, Delit having a little bit of game time, not a low though, but yeah, fully sealed it out for us. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's what we need. 7-0 to Manchester United. And there we go. On to the next one. Big game against Palace. Thanks for watching.